Good morning, everybody. We are back to Automate to Dominate with a double whammy today because we are doing the content marketing power up. If you haven't signed up yet, what are you doing? So we are, we, as in Kelly Noble Mobile and I, are doing a 30 day boot camp. So what better to do with my own live show at Automate to Dominate than talk about how to run a successful live show, all the ins and outs that goes into it, all of the processes, workflows, and all that stuff. And who better to ask than a TV personality herself that is not just storm chasing, but actually also talking about that and showing you what she does and how she does. So stay tuned as I'm bringing you on Wonder Woman herself chasing storms. We got Jennifer Watson. Oh my Ms. God, Storm I'm so excited to be here. I was waiting. Herself. I was like, when is it going to happen? <laughs> How are you, Evie? How are you? Oh my gosh, I'm doing so good. You know what's exciting? We're supposed to get some storms today, but I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Uh, where I'm at. So yeah, it's always an exciting day. And even my, my little three-year-old, she gets excited now about the weather and storms, <gasps> which makes me so happy. You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy, but that's why I love you. But you are crazy. <laughs> like, I well, love watching your Instagram stories talking about literally storm chasing. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, that's the goal is to go storm chasing um, at the end of May, potentially early June, depending on the weather pattern. Uh, I will be heading out to the plains in the U.S. Uh, to do that because it's super flat out there. So I just... It fascinates me as a scientist, so you know. I can I can see that. Now, for the ones that do not know you, let me pull up your bio really fast and put your gorgeous face on full screen. Look at that! <laughs> so, for the ones that don't know Jennifer Watson, um, you are actually a social media manager with Agora Pulse, um, which mm -hmm. anybody that follows my channels knows I love Agora Pulse. Um, you have a diverse background from working on camera um, to executing mm. digital strategy. So the whole marketing piece pretty much in front and behind the camera. You're a dynamic mm -hmm. talent with a passion for every aspect of digital media from building brand strategies, creating content plans to getting executive buy-in. Um, you motivate your audience from the stage and drive engagement, which, yeah, I totally can attest to that including numerous launches and live campaigns on Facebook for the biggest weather brand garnering millions of views, which is the reason why I brought you on. You also have been <laughs> featured on content, the chief content marketing magazine. You were on stage with social media marketing world. Great mm -hmm. one, by the way, and a whole bunch Thank of you. other ones too. So between your knowledge of the TV aspect of things, the social aspect of things, behind the scenes and front the scene. I'm like, there is, the, I, to me, there was no better one to bring on to talk about what's happening because I love how you have all of the aspect. You have the broadcast aspect, you have the social aspect, you have the regular live stream a uh, aspect. You have the real life aspect with your lovely little one. Love her I know, sorry, no, no, that was our interest. She was popping in there. She's got, um, she's, I have her watching while she's, uh, uh, cause she, she just closed her door, but she's watching, um, an educational thing, but I get the alerts for clubhouse. And so instead of swiping up, she accidentally got into a room. And so she brought it out to me, which is great. And so I, I was like, we're going to leave that room. And uh, now she's all set. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. Stop them early, right? Stop them yeah. early. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now, before we dive into some of the systems and before and after and all of that fun stuff, um, how did you get from storm chasing, which you still do, to going live and marketing and broadcast and taking this from from broadcast onto social? So it's a, it's a great fun story, Evie, and that's a fantastic question. And it all kind of blended together. So for me personally, I could never 
have like a nine to five job where I'm sitting at a desk and looking at spreadsheets all day. I just, I couldn't do it. And I love change. That's something that some people just struggle with, but I absolutely love it. And so uh, my two loves are weather and social media and social media for the fact that it connects people from around the world. I have some best friends in different countries I haven't even met before, but I talk to them more than my friends that I actually have in town, which is so wild and so crazy to me. But, um, you know, I weather fascinates me. Astronomy fascinates me. And so I went to graduate graduate school uh, to become a meteorologist, which I did. And I worked locally at some local stations before going to the Weather Channel. And one of the things is when you're at a local TV station, you are uh, your own representative. You are, you know, your own PR person. And so I had to have um, my own social accounts promoting the station that I worked at along with I did social media for the weather team social channels, for the station social channels when weather was a big deal, but also giving the forecast. I live blogged and everything. So my introduction and social media, it was already a part of my job. Mark was a part of my job um, and that's what we had to do as we were competitors with the other local TV stations so we wanted to be number one not just on the TV ratings but also on the social media ratings as well and so I transitioned <laughs> I see Evie's like hmm I didn't I didn't know that yeah I guess I kind of did but not really because I'm like I think as outsiders we expect the the station to promote you because you were working for the station but it makes sense because you are also your own brand being on TV Mm -hmm. being up front so yeah learn something (laughs) new yeah, and, and the interesting thing is you're, you start out in smaller markets and you're trying to get to those bigger markets. So you, you're promoting the heck out of yourself and also the station because you want your station to be number one. So it's, it's, it was an instant like PR marketing and they teach you that in school too. Um, the social media, which you're going to have to do. So I already had that kind of background, um, which was super fun too. So between that and I got to really uh, blend my two loves together when I was at the Weather Channel as a social meteorologist. That was my actual title. Um, And then when we talk to different people, they're like, we've never heard of that before. And it's because, you know, you really need a meteorologist on social, especially with tornado warnings, severe weather that truly knows what they're talking about. Um, And so that's why we had that at the Weather Channel. So which made it extra special makes sense especially with situations like that that can turn around really really fast you need to get the news out there and what are the chances that somebody is going to be sitting in front of the tv waiting for you to announce that a tornado is coming around so i like i never thought of it that way see this is why i like inviting different people out of different different types of situations yeah. Now you started already touching on to some of the processes that go into it. Um, when we talk about going live and going live being easier than recorded, just hitting the damn button. Yeah, it's not quite that simple, is it? No, it's not. And so I'll give you a little bit of background of what we did um, at the Weather Channel. So when we were there, we were hardcore into Periscope and Meerkat when they first did live. And we actually partnered with Meerkat. We were um, featured and we were one of the first ones to use their like kind of coexisting live where you could go live with two people at the same time. And we did that. And so um, and both now are technically gone, which is kind of sad. But yeah, so we did that. And then when Facebook Live became available for brands in early 2016, we partnered with them for a year. And that was one of Facebook's big goals. They were trying to understand, okay, how are people going to use live video? And so they partnered with brands as well as some celebrities uh, just to test them doing lives. So our partnership with Facebook was crazy because we had to produce 120 Facebook Lives per month. Per oh, month. 120 yeah. per month. That's 30, that's four shows a day. Yes. So to make that happen, to make that happen at that time. And so we had to keep up with spreadsheets and everything, um, which is so wild. Oh, I love oh, watching the Meerkat shows mm-hmm. back. 
Hey, Beck, how are you? Um, and so, yeah. And so we partnered, like at that time, IBM had bought the digital properties of the Weather Channel. So they were responsible for 60 Facebook Lives. And I was responsible for the other 60. So <laughs> you were responsible for, for, for 60 shows in a month. Yes, for a whole year. Yeah. It was, it was crazy. It was very crazy. So the good thing is we were able to hire someone that kind of focused in on, on that, that I oversaw um, and kind of managed to help out with that. But I also had to do some myself because there were so many. And so it was, it was a crazy feat, but Facebook was trying to understand, okay, so how are people going to do different things? So being creative um, with those Facebook lives, like you were thrown into it. It wasn't like, let me be like, perfect and wait for all these things to happen and line up. No, you just went, you know, you had an idea and you kind of just had time to vet it and you, you went live. And so the biggest learning I had from that is, you know what, anything and everything will go wrong during a live show. You just have to keep going. That's what I have to say. You have to keep going because audio is going to yes. drop. Internet's going to drop. Like it doesn't matter. And we've done lives like in storm coverage where we're just like I don't know it's a little spotty we'll see what happens but you know what you just you live and you learn um one of the things in the building of the weather channel um there are some areas that don't get a good strong signal so we learned really quickly if we're going to be walking around doing behind the scenes you know the blackout spots that you need to walk around yes <laughs> yes, yes we we would test our I would look at the internet and if it dropped below 3 bars then we, we didn't go in that area. And there's one of our studios we just couldn't go live in because it would always drop. But like literally you just, you, you prep for, we had a, a couple of different times where Facebook dropped out on us. It wasn't us, it just ended itself and we would contact them. And so, yeah, so it's one of those things like if you're waiting on like, oh, this has to be perfect, that has to be perfect. Don't think of it as such a cumbersome task to go live because people just want you, you know, if you, whether you're an entrepreneur or you work for a company, they want access to you. How do you do things? How do you live on a daily basis? They don't want all fancy dolled up, you know, Jen or Evie. They want, you know, real Jen and Evie, like just join in and jump on. And so it's great to have fancy equipment, but if you don't, that's okay. All you need is your phone to go live. There were a lot of times where we had um, little like suitcases of uh, social media kits that I sent out. Um, we actually had a decent budget of over twenty thousand um, dollars. Just a little bit. Just, 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 just a, for for these. Um, and we had um, lavalier mics. We had the road unidirectional you know, mics. But oftentimes we went live from an airport outside of an airport with the national hurricane tour and the airplane engines were so loud and we tested the audio ahead of time. And actually the audio on an iPhone just itself with no other attachment sounded better than those, all that extra stuff. So literally you can prop your phone up on a book and go live. That's really all you need. And so that was one of the biggest learnings I learned while being at the weather channel and having to do that so and i think all of us live streamers kind of agree with that it takes off the weight of having to be perfect i'm like don't get me wrong my youtube videos aren't perfect either but you spend more time and you are really picky on you said um and are there and going live is is more of the the girls meeting having a coffee and everybody else gets to listen in kind of thing yeah. where some of the girls like back for example she was in my last challenge in my streamline your live stream challenge where literally everything that could go wrong was going wrong we had tech oh. issues we had voice it, as you said it's like okay when you start with everything just plan on everything going wrong that can go wrong and we had the most fun we yes. had the most fun you it was just real and people understand that they, they, you know, being honest is so smart because, um, one of the things it was like back in 2009, when I was at a local TV station, um, in Mississippi and our computer went out, um, Oh, a hi, a big hi to everyone. So my computer graphics went out and I'm live on air with like, you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people watching. And so I have an earpiece in my ear and my news director's like, 
Jen slowly walk off camera like everything's fine, nothing's wrong, and continue giving the forecast while you try and fix the computers. And so, like, I'm like, you okay. You try and but- fix the computers. Yes. Um, yes. Talk about multitasking. Yes, <laughs> yes. And it, it, it looked so, uh, like, it was so odd looking. And the number one, I was like, that's the wrong thing to do, though. I couldn't really argue with my news director on camera. Um, but you the just- thing is, I'm like, people understand, like, electronics don't work right. Other things don't work right. We're all human. And so I'm like, if you just say, hey, it looks like we're having some graphics issues. You know, I'm going to try and fix it on the side. I'm going to step off and still give you the forecast. Like, you know, talking through things, people get it. Otherwise, they're like, so Jen, they like totally slid off camera. And, you know, we're not seeing any, like people are just guessing, you know what I mean? But when you're like, you're real, people get it. People are like, yeah, it's a Monday or this is happening, you know everyone's been there and everyone's struggling for something too. Um, oh, oh, Beck said it was imperfectly perfect, Evie. Oh my God, I love that. But yeah, so that that's one of the biggest things is you just keep going. If your internet drops, you pop right back on and say, hey guys, sorry about that. And you know what? Things happen and you just move on like anything in life, whether it's live or not. Um, yeah. And so you know what? You know what the interesting thing is too? When we were first doing those live shows, we would do them in the studio. It was almost like we did it all fancy with all like the cameras and it was basically watching TV on social media. Those did, didn't do nearly as well as we would hand the phone to like Jim Cantori or another meteorologist and they'd be running from the studio during the commercial break. People loved that obviously that much more than the fancy studio. So they want the raw and the real. They want the true you. They don't want this, I'm in front of a camera. And if you're nervous about that, one thing you can do is stories, you know, mm-hmm. post daily stories for 30 days. I know you've got the boot camp going on, Evie, but you know, Get your face in front of that camera and practice. You can even for Facebook, you can set up um, a, a private Facebook group just for you or a couple of friends where you guys can test things out. Yep. Or you can still go live on your page um, and make it so only you see it and you can actually see what it's like to actually push the button. Which is the perfect intro to today's giveaway because... <laughs> And we got the message. We got the message. We got a big one today. We got a big one today. Again, as you know, um, you need to be part of the content marketing power up. You need to be part of that. There is a couple of things that need to happen. But today's giveaway is one year of Restream because Restream is one of our major sponsors that is making this happen. That is allowing Kelly and me to pretty much take the month off to do this. And between those two live shows today, between this show and the show that is happening um, at 2 p.m. today, where I'm going to be teaching you Restream and how to use Restream to go live and make it really simple, take a picture. Tell me what you have learned about live streaming and using Restream. And I want you to tag askevie.com. Hashtag askevie. I did see, I didn't even pop in my... Let's see. Now let's do some fanciness. What we can do totally on the fly because I like it. We can show this puppy right here. The moment we are hiding the content marketing power up and we are hiding that one too. I'm showing way too much stuff. It's okay. It's fun. There we go. Got all the things. The fly. We (laughs) have. Oh, there was a shortcut of something. Didn't want to have that shortcut. That's totally there nothing. is the Yvonne at Ask Yvonne Evie. I also want you, Jen, what's your Instagram handle? Oh my God, Jennifer Weather. It's just at what? Jennifer Weather, as simple as could be. And I was so glad I got that too. I was like, yes. There like, we go. A, we are a lot having, of other. We are oh, having yes. handles. Take on some pictures. Let us know what do you love about going live? What are you loving about Restream? And what are you loving about Jen? Go tag some sponsors. Go tag us. Yes, this is a big one because you get the chance of winning one year of Restream. Um, Restream's handle, I'm pretty sure, is at Restream.io. Is this Instagram? That is Instagram, correct. Okay, Instagram, yeah. Oh my God, tag me, guys. I would so, love. So go tag Jen. Go tag I'll me. I'll share your content too. I will totally share your content. You tag me in an Instagram story, and as long as it's completely appropriate, which I'm sure it is, um, you get those couple of weirdos. But yeah, I will totally share it, guys. 
Yeah, look at we've got all the things. This is how you go on the fly. I love it. And you know what? You can always change things. And it's always okay to be like, hey, we're going to try this. We're going to do this. Um, we tried um, and for our summit and Agora Pulse. Um, oh, Kelly, all the things. Yes. Oh, my God. One of my best friends, um, she says that too. She's like, she's like, let's do all the things. It's all, all the, the things. things. And um, all the things. Yeah. Hashtag all the things. Um, I love that. Kelly, I love you. Um, I miss you. Uh, Facebook. Oh, I have, I love a giveaway. Okay, so I'm not part of back, it. don't worry about it. You still can sign up. Literally just go. I am completely overwhelming the screen right now. We're just going for it. Okay. Just go to the content marketing power up. It's a free 30 day boot camp on how to go live, uh, how to do great recorded video, how to mm -hmm. market it, how to build the systems around it. We are doing it all and it's going all the way through April. You still can sign up. It is not too late. The content marketing power up, sign up, you get all the emails, you get all the links, you get all the information. Once you got that, go snap a picture. I would love to see your face on camera. We've seen our faces all the time. I wanna see your face on camera. Tell us what you love about going live tell us what you love about restream go tag all of us there's your chance to win one year of restream that's amazing there we go. i just have to say it's one year of yes. restream is amazing and we that's are making so much money we are allowing for 24 hour replay we have some aussies that are in front of us we have the germans that are behind we have all kinds of time zones going yeah, on, yeah, so this will too. be yeah. a 24-hour giveaway. So, and yeah, actually, they're all ahead of us. <laughs> there is more coming. So, throughout this month, there is way more giveaways coming. I know that Agoa Pulse is part of this giveaway too. So, there is more coming. People, sign up mm -hmm. now. Um, now that I got all excited and threw all of the information out there, and you are hopefully signed up now, let's get back to topic. Once in a while, I, I need one of those gifts in my videos with the squirrel just running through the, through the scene. I need one of those. I love that. Squirrel. Yeah, it happens. You're excited, Evie. That's what the excitement is contagious. Oh, yeah. Like, this is awesome. Yeah. I love it. And yes, to finish that one up, yes. You already have oh. Restream, you still can win. There is no, mm -hmm. there is no, um, you have to be a new user or anything. You always can win yourself. Oh, cheers. But you gotta I love put that. Your, Even better. Put your face on camera, Instagram, tag everybody, let us know. <sighs> okay, scroll moment. Let's go, let's get to system. Let's go from completely scroll moment, which makes life just fun, to a little bit of systems and process because when you actually want your live show to succeed, you need to go a little bit past just pressing the button. There is some pre-planning in there. Jen, you might even have some ideas during the show to get people engaged, but also after. So you are the queen of live streaming. I'm handing this over to you. What are oh your systems that you do with your live show to make it successful? So one of the most important things, whether it's going live, um, social media, it's everything in life is consistency, right? People will learn, okay, Evie goes live at this time every single week and they'll get excited for it. And it's okay when you're first starting off doing live shows to test maybe different days, different times, different platforms, because you may not want to go live on every single platform. So test that out first, see what works. But some type of consistency is good, whether it's once a month, every other week, um, weekly, whatever works best for you. And if you don't have enough content or time to do that, because maybe you don't even have a social media manager and you're the one that's managing social while a bunch of other things, then, you know, going live when you, whenever is okay for you is fine. But pre-promotion is key. You always want to try and schedule the live at least, I would say five to seven days ahead of time. Um, and also promote it as well um, on all your channels, have all the assets and everything. I think that's key. So one of the things that's really important to me is I try to bring on interviewees that can teach our audience something. So this is me specifically talking about Agora Pulse. We're a social media management tool. Uh, our clients are marketers, social media managers, community managers, agency owners, entrepreneurs. So I want to inspire, I want to educate, and I want to provide added value to our product. And I want to bring in people that 
everyone's like, oh my gosh, like I saw them speaking on stage or I saw them doing this or, you know, I'm struggling with that, but this person is an expert. So I try to plan out guests at least three months in advance, mm -hmm. if not six with that window. I try. This is, this is me. I, that, that's, that's always the goal to try. Sometimes um, a guest will drop off um, last yeah. minute or, or something else happens. So it's always good to vet about three to four people and say, hey, you know, if for some reason a guest drops out, can would you be able to fill in literally like five minutes ahead of time? Um, I'm lucky to have Brian for that, <laughs> um, who, who, who's, who's my partner. Um, and he, he's great. He does live video and all that stuff. So I can be like, I could call him and he'd be able to join in two minutes. But EV too. So you want to prep the guest um, as much as possible. Now, you don't have to do a guest show. I love guest shows. Um, I love interviewing and learning. But you can also do a show around promoting your product or your service or asking people, okay, so we're thinking of creating this new product. What would be interesting in it for you? What do you want to see in that? You always want to try and solve a problem as well, whether it's you have an interviewee on and you're educating and helping solve uh, different solutions, marketing solutions, or helping solve some kind of other problem. So First, you got to figure out, you know, the times that work best for you, test that out, then figure out the format of the show, what do you want to do, and then the consistency of it, if you can have that consistency. Then, oh, I, oh, I love, yes. You, you got the consistency right there. I'm like, oh, yes. Um, I wanted to jump right in there because consistency comes down to you need to be consistent. If that means once a month, it means once a month. That's yeah. why I actually started with the weird schedule of every other week because I knew I was able to keep that up and I got into the habit mm -hmm. of going live every other week and then I added the in-between to that where it then became a weekly live show. But yeah, it's like consistent doesn't mean you have to go live every day or every week. It can be as less as every month, but you do want to have that consistent schedule because it's also human nature. It's like, hey, I'm going to go live every first Monday of the month. Yep. People can remember that. Yeah, they yeah. really can. And if it's quarterly, you can do once a quarter, which is just only four live shows a year. And, and even if you're like, okay, maybe live shows aren't what's for you or the best thing for you, you can talk to an employee and, and vet with your employees, whether you use Slack or something else, see who's comfortable with social media, who's comfortable on camera, or get a host. You can always contract a host as well. And it may not be as expensive as you think. And I know it seems like, oh my God, all these things. But once you get, you got to put in that hard work ahead of time to get the process down. Once you get that process down, it's a piece of cake. It's so easy. And people are going to be like, how do you do this every week or month or whatever? And you're just going to be like, well, you know, it's just, I it's made it happen with all the, the processes you have in place. And so the next thing you want to do is I always, since I have an interview show, is I make sure I look at the background of the people, whether they've written a book. Um, we've done some book promotions as well. Um, we have an Agora Pulse book club that's expected. Um, I didn't exclusively, even know that. I should say. Yeah, we have it in our Facebook group. Um, yeah, it's once a month. It's a new thing. It's new. So people got to get used to it. Um, yes. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, Kelly, I am. I love Kelly. Uh, yes, and yes. It, it, fits, so awesome. it fits right into um, when Kelly talked to Stephanie Lou on, I need to say, like, I think it was Tuesday. It fits in with the live stream producer, too where if you are already considering becoming potentially a live stream producer, you can mm -hmm. offer your host services too. So there is so many different ways where not just even you hiring them, but you also becoming that position. So it goes both ways. And yeah, pretty Absolutely. much I think any of us that does live shows is available for hire mm -hmm. as a host. I'm like, it's, it's, it's kind of becoming second nature to us. Yeah, it really is. Because once you do it and you've got that whole process in place, you can help with the technology, you can help with everything else. Um, so what I do is I make sure I ask questions and I, I try to ask sometimes the questions that other people normally wouldn't ask or the questions that people want to know, but they're too nervous to do that. So I think about that. And then I also have a run of show that I will send the guest. And you want to make sure 
um, like with the guests, I usually like five days out, I'll send them um, an outline of questions, um, promotional images, and once it's scheduled, the link um, where they should promote it. And I help make sure um, if they have any questions, they can ask. And usually a little closer, I'll send them the questions ahead of time that I will be asking them. So if they want to add anything, remove anything they can, which makes them feel in control, which I want them to be in control. I want them to be comfortable when they come on the show. And so I, I definitely do that ahead of time. And then so not like how I dropped you in the show today, because what you guys don't see, what you guys haven't seen is I messaged Jen this morning. We've been talking on multiple different projects and I messaged her this morning. I'm like, Hey, here, by the way, is your show link because I know she's got it all. She's like, Hey, thank you that you messaged me because I never got a calendar invite. Somehow my notifications and my calendar invites never made it to her. So she got ready within an hour and all cute. And she's always cute. There is nothing. To say. <laughs> so and she just jumped on. But that also comes back to knowing your guests. I do have a handful of people if for whatever happens, for whatever reason, whatever happens that I can call up on and be like, um, uh, I just lost my guest for whatever reason. Can you jump on? And I'm like, Jen is one of those. It's like. You oh, can yeah. put Jen in front of the camera on on a dime's notice and you know she's going to be great. So these things happen. Oh. oh, my God. I told you to. Evie, no, no, no. You're amazing. Yeah. It, like, it didn't it just, it just take it on. There. No, no, no. You're fine. No, I take it on the calendar. I I, I luckily got the alerts, but it, it wasn't on my I, – I go by my calendar like a Bible. And Girl, so, yeah. If it's not on my calendar, that's why I was like when I messaged you this morning, I'm like – Holy cannoli, thank no, God no, she no. didn't schedule anything else where it's like, hmm, because we both live by our calendar. If it's not on the calendar, it's not happening. Yeah. And, and, and you know what? And, and things like that happen, you know? And, and you know what? It's Evie, you're incredible. You're amazing. Like, she is the automation queen, guys. As you all know, that Evie is yeah. incredible. If, as if long you as need, it works. And, but you know what? And it, sometimes it doesn't. I've done things and sometimes it doesn't. And it's okay, you know? And so, and you you did it perfectly, Evie. Like, this is fantastic. This is amazing. So once you kind of get the run of show and you send that, oh my God, Steve. We got Steve Dodo in the house. Steve, Steve, Steve. I love Steve, guys. If you don't follow him, you need to. Dotto Tech, like everywhere, I think. We, Steve, correct me him. if I'm completely wrong. I don't we know. Love him. Um, yeah. But no, uh, so the next thing is you have to figure out, um, obviously, the quality. Do you want to do a show like this where you're using like Restream or StreamYard or, or some other tool? Restream is absolutely amazing. Um, and if you want to do that, you got to look at the prices and these tools will take your show or whatever you're doing up a notch, like several notches, because you can do all the pop-ups that Evie's doing just like that. Um, the crazy oh, ones. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you happen but, uh, to mention features. So back, I will talk about that on the live session at 2 p.m. And yes, you can. We have long descriptions in Restream that fits with all of your YouTube stuff. So 2 p.m. Pacific, we are talking Restream all over and how and what and why and where. And I love all the live of shows, easy. Because that, of requested. Like we got so many yes. scrolls today. They are the handles again. Um, there is, there are a couple things. Again, you need to be part of the content marketing power up to be able to win. There is some intro in the group that you need to go through. So there's a couple of things, but you do have 24 hours to get it all done if you are not part yet. And it's easy, guys. So just do it. I mean, the website's there. Just click it. Take five minutes. Just do it and, and knock it out. And, just and this is why we love having Jen on because between jumping... And I know a lot of our viewers are starting out with live streaming. It can get crazy between comments and jumping back into the thread of things and picking up where you left off. It's like, Jen, she's been doing this for a few years. She can jump from going through our show notes to comments, answering questions, rolling with it. <laughs> this is what you guys are going to learn when you hit the damn button. Love Brian. Exactly. Exactly. Like, oh my gosh. That's why you need to join. If you haven't joined, you've got the two most powerful people in the world with Kelly and Evie. They are leveling up everything and anything you need to do about marketing, um, live streaming, all of that. They are taking you to the next level. So listen to them. The content marketing power up. I just do it. Do it. Do it. Wait, this one. Do it, do it. I can't see it because I'm cutting out. Come on. <laughs> 
Let's see. <laughs> I know, did you like the slide? Just like, you, you, you got it. You got to love Steve. Just press the down button. Where did we hear that? I don't know. There's a strange I man. I think there's that, that, that the weird, crazy guy in yellow that talks about that. He wears baseball caps like all the time. He's like a kid. <gasps> um, yeah, I don't know who he thinks he is. But uh, anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know. But you guys, so make sure to tag us and use all the links. See, this is the thing, Evie. I do so many shows. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, guys, do this. I, I'm kind of <laughs> taking over. But no, Evie, like, yeah. It's, it's so that's why I brought you on because I can just be behind the scenes and step back from being a host because... That's the nice thing when you bring on a host. She knows how to run a show. You can just, you can just do one of the. Um, okay, I'm behind the scenes here for a second because we got gorgeous Jen here, and you can oh, just goodness. let her run with it because she knows what she's doing. Love it. Oh my God, you guys want to know a fun fact? Um, and then we'll get back to what we're doing. So you can't boost uh, a Facebook Live um, from desktop. But something I did do in the beginning, I don't do this anymore, but when you know you're trying to get a, a show going, um, I would ask my initial first juicy question and then pull the guest full screen and on my phone, I could boost it on my phone. I had like an a whole targeted audience and everything figured out. And so I would be on my phone boosting the Facebook Live. Now, obviously, anyone who knows ads, you know, it may not instantly go as it's live, but we would sometimes see a boost. We're like, I think I was approved while the live was still there. Cause sometimes my lives go over an hour just because yeah. the conversation is so good. So, um, but yeah, so that's a little tip. If you're thinking about boosting, we did that when we first started our show to just get a little bit more awareness and eyes on it. Um, and it did help. We did get viewers and more people watching us. So that's, that's nice something one. to, yeah, it's something to think about. And another thing, um, that we did in the beginning is, and for over a year, we had show sponsors. And so they didn't have to pay to actually be a show sponsor. Evie was one of them. Evie knows the whole rundown, but all a show it's sponsor fun. is going to do, because one of the things I uh, we realized, even when I was at the Weather Channel, I would have um, actually two of my coworkers monitoring the comments at the time while we were live, so I didn't have to worry about doing it. And so the benefit of that is you're helping the engagement. They're asking questions and they're getting the conversation going in the comments. And that's all they do. Along with that, they're promoted on the images and they will promote the images into their groups, the people that they know, all of those things. So it's extra promotion. And it also helps during the live with engagement. So a show sponsor is someone that if you're starting off, I would probably set aside some money um, for some ads just to promote the show itself along with boosting the show as it's going on, as it's live, and then also show sponsor. Um, something to think about where they don't have to pay money. It's all about helping with the engagement and the extra promotion. So those are some I, other things. I love the show sponsor piece. So one of the one of the questions that popped into, um, into the group too, when I was going live, I was commenting first of all as myself, but I was also commenting Ooh. as Ask Evie. And people were like, how is Evie commenting when she's going live? First off, Restream allows me to do that. So when I'm commenting as Yvonne Hyman, it comes through because Restream allows me to pop in a comment that is then getting sent out to all of the, the locations. But another thing that Kelly and I did is we brought on my VA to be support behind the scenes. So in that case, we are paying my VA, but it's the same idea with bringing on sponsors that are getting exposure through your show, but are in the comment section to help. It's like, how often do we come up? I'm like, especially when you go live with Kelly, who's like one idea after the other, you know, it's going to be a roller coaster on that live show. Where yeah. it's like, oh, we forgot that link and we forgot this and we forgot that. When you have a VA supporting you in the comment section, she or he can grab that specific link. Or as Kelly did earlier with <laughs> our restream deal that we have going on for the challenge, she popped it in and I was also able to just copy and paste it and bring it back in. So things are happening behind the scenes where it's nice to have help, no matter if it's if you have a little bit of budget and you want to bring in a VA or if you want to go the sponsorship route where it does give, it gave me nice exposure. Hi. <laughs> a little person right there. <laughs> I have a little she person. She really guys. just came in for a second and hopped right back out. 
She she really did. Yeah, she's eating um, carrots right now. Oh, thank you. Ooh, You're we so love sweet. Carrots. How about a couple a couple more minutes, sweet darling? Um, and so one of the things. So you know what? And and she, I knew she was gonna come in here because. Oh, I don't know if there is anyone on this, but, but you can this put, is the fun oh, about it. And I love. Oh, I love... she hit. She. Go ahead. Oh, I hear it. So you know what? You know what happened, guys? She hit Clubhouse again. Ah! <laughs> All right, hold on. Uh, so while I'm talking, okay. So I'm going to multitask right now while I'm fixing this for her. So one of the things, um, I you, uh, I think with people is they get nervous uh, before they go on camera, right? Um, I and still do. Just a, a little a secret for me. I used to like not speaking in front of people um, and presenting. I used to not like it at all. Yeah. And then, I, it, yeah. And now, like, I stepped into my fear and like I did it, and it's amazing. It kind of had to when you're we're doing the weather. But one thing to do is allow yourself enough time um, before the show. So I usually make sure I go into um, like. For you, Evie, you would go into restream like 30 minutes ahead of time. The platform I use, I go in 30 minutes. I make sure everything's set, everything's good. When you feel good and you're comfortable and you're not rushed, that'll always make you feel better. And I bring in my guest um, at least 15 minutes ahead of time to make sure they feel comfortable, they feel prepped. Now, we've I've had a couple of guests come on and they're running late or they had um, something else happen. And literally, it's like two. they pop in two minutes before and they're like all frantic. They're like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, it's OK. I was like, we don't have to start at right on time. We can start a couple minutes late. Uh, I think it's 10 minutes. Facebook allows you. Um, one of them, it's like, otherwise you have to reschedule on some of the different tools. Yeah. But it's okay to ta let them take a deep breath and pump them up. That's one of the best things you can do music. Uh, with your music guests. in the green room. The greatest yes. showman. M music in the green room is the best. I'm, unfortunately, you can't like have food and fun things. But you know, having that music and pumping them up is always going to help, allowing them to take a deep breath. But also, even before you log in, just even before I go live sometimes, like you're, you're prepping to be like, okay, I'm on, right? I gotta be on, yeah. people are going to see me. And everyone's heart starts to like race in a positive way. And I think we're trained to think that before we go on stage or before we go on camera, that we're supposed to be nervous, their nerves. Well, I channel the, whatever energy that is into positivity, excitement. Yep. Think of it as excitement and focus on what you want to share and the value you're going to add. Don't focus on your going live. Focus on what the points you want to get across are and the content that you're going to talk about. That can really help you um, because you know what? Everyone, even you know celebrities, they get nervous doing things. So you know, take that moment for yourself. Take some deep breaths. Look in the mirror. Be like, I'm going to rock this. This is going to be the best live show ever and do that every single time and it's going to be amazing and another thing um, which Evie I think you're probably into this as well I like visualizing like before I get out of bed I visualize my day yep take some time you can even close your eyes and do this and just visualize going through the show, the, the, um, the actions of it, pressing the button, introducing everyone, um, you know, take like a minute or two to do this, like how awesome the interview is going to go. There's going to be a lot of engagement and then feel the feelings of how good you're going to feel after you're successful, feel that success. And then just take some deep breaths and smile and go, you know, like log in and start prepping. But having that mindset of this is going to be amazing. People are going to love it is great. And you know what? We've all had live shows where there haven't been that many people on. That's okay. It doesn't matter how many people are on. It's the people who inspire, you know, you inspire. And if it, you're with a company and you're like, no, I need this churn or I, I need them to go to this link or whatever. There are other ways making sure you're pre-promoting well in advance ahead of time to do that as well. Um, but you know what? If there's something that doesn't go quite right or you're not getting the audience you need, take a look back because we've all started from zero. Everyone starts from zero and it's just a learning process. You know, I mean, it's just what it is. So, yeah. And yeah. Going back to the anxiety piece, anxiety and excitement feel the same in our body. You decide what it's going to be. So we, we make that decision. Is that that butterfly stomach? Is that anxiety or is that excitement? So just, just decide it's going to be excitement. And yeah, my mirror literally has post-it notes all over the place. 
with things that people have said about me, with things I want to remind myself of, where where the habit just has gone a little bit the wrong way and I want to get my thinking back the right way. So, oh yeah. yeah. And then yeah. you bring Stephanie Lou with some NLP into that whole bakes with your badass square. We'll get yes. that covered. Oh my God. So much yes, so much yes. And so, um, uh, really, I'm not sure how long you want this to go, Evie. I have a couple more points to get across. How long... <laughs> I don't, I don't have an end and I don't have, I don't have a little one I need to take care of. So I am all here for it. I know my audience loves you. So we will take care of the points you want to get across. It's all okay. yours, girl. We'll, we'll probably go max um, an hour. So like 13 more minutes, just so my, my little one is okay. Um, but she's doing great. She's, she's having a ball it. in there. Uh, so yeah. Um, so the biggest thing, so during the live, when, when you press the button, you want to see if you can um, get some images created ahead of time, um, a countdown. Um, I would do, you know, Evie had a countdown in, in the beginning of hers. Try and do a countdown so you can gather people in so you're not starting right away because people may not be seeing this live um, right at that moment. They may be getting alert and they need to go somewhere else to watch the live. So make sure to do a countdown, maybe have some intro graphics and make sure you get the banners and everything set. But once you're live, just have fun. Welcome everyone in and just get that energy out and be excited. Like just like Evie, like she does such an amazing job. But, you know, welcome everyone in. And I always say, like in my live shows, please tell us, you know, who you are, where you're watching us from. And then I have a question that I ask them, um, whether it's a movie that inspired them the most. But something to spark that conversation in the comments so you get that engagement. The more engagement around that live show and the viewers on it, the more people are going to watch. Even you can have people um, ping in their friends as well if they think it's going to be interesting to them. But just like, you know, those of you on Clubhouse, maybe you're not on Clubhouse, you want to reset your live show, you know, every, you know, a couple times during an hour, 10 to 15 minutes and just say, hey, everyone, we're here with this guest in case they're just joining you. So they're just I kind of aware of it. I need to get used to that one. That, that is one of the things where I'm like, okay, let's, let's, let's start doing that because, yeah, I'm like, when I look at the numbers... It, it takes a little bit with, yes, now with the timer up front, you get people in, but then some people drop, some people come back. So that's on my to-do list to get in my show notes of, hey, by the way, we have amazing Jennifer Watson today, who is not just chasing storms, but also chasing cameras. Yes, this is true. This is very true. So yes, and you know what? It can be e like, it's easy when the conversation is going so well to forget about certain things and it's okay. It's, it becomes repetitive. It becomes habit. And, you know, I have a set of, um, my questions set that I'm going to ask, but if people are asking questions in the comments or the conversation's going in a direction and it's a positive direction and people are excited about it, I let it, I throw the questions out the window and in restream, I'm sure Evie that there's like, you can have a private conversation with your guest, letting them know, you know, Hey, yeah. uh, we're, we're going to, um, not we're going to bypass those questions i think this topic is you know really interesting for everyone let's focus on that um but recognizing the people in your audience and saying their name um as silly as this sounds evie even working at the weather channel when i watch the weather channel and a meteorologist says like the town i'm from i still get excited i'm like they mentioned my we town all do it's this <gasps> she just mentioned me <gasps> yes it's fun yes. it is fun it's exciting and and people like we've learned through all of this, you know, the, the COVID and the pandemic, people want to feel a part of something. Yeah. And so when you say their name, they're like, wow, I'm involved. Like, you know, they care. And so just do that, involve your audience, like truly care, which I know everyone does, but make that a point to do that um, during, during the show. And if you're like promoting, you've got like trivia at the end of your live show, like we do, and we have giveaways, promote that during the show, just like Evie did, taking a break where it makes sense and promoting it. Like right now, Evie, you want to do like 10 <laughs> if you more say seconds? promotion, we're going to drop the link in. <laughs> yes, yes. And so, uh, Evie, what do they have to do in 10 seconds? Go. In 10 seconds, you know how long yes. I talk. Go sign up, snap a picture, tell us on Instagram why you love going live and restream. Tag all three of us and you have a chance to win one year of restream. Did I, did I mention one year? One, one year. full year. That's 12 months, guys. You are going to level up your live streaming game like 
in crazy with Restream. So yes, oh my gosh. And get um, yourself some guests that take care of your promotion so you don't have to do it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh my God, I love you, Evie. Evie, you're amazing. Um, and and the, the last thing I want to talk about is repurposing. And that's something, so with us at Agora Pulse, we, we've gotten behind on our repurposing because we have so much content, so many live yeah. shows. We're like, oh my goodness, like it's a lot. Uh, but you, the time that you take to do a live show, you can create so much content, whether it's quote cards, whether it's audiograms, infographics, uh, turn it into a podcast. You can edit those videos into snackable pieces of content, which we have someone that does that for us at Agora Pulse. But there's so many different ways you can upcycle that content and that content can live forever. And you can pre-schedule that throughout the year. So, and you can also use that content to promote your live show yeah. and you know the next guests coming too. So make sure you take that time and you have a repurposing strategy. And I know Evie, Kelly, they're all going to be talking about that because they're queens of repurposing. Um, there's so many great blogs out there about repurposing as well. But if you're going to take the time to do a live show, then make sure to repurpose it as well and to maximize every aspect of it. Um, but oh, how do I get my name and picture to show up if you show my comment? So I'm popping, that is one of Facebook things that's happening. Um, Kim is watching from, uh, I'm pretty sure she's watching from the Content Marketing Power App. And what's happening, I just popped in the link. Facebook needs to get connected to Restream so I can see your face. It's just happening in groups. Everything else Facebook allows to grab that because it's public, but because groups are more personal, that's why you don't show up right now. It should be in the comment section right now. The uh, link is, I think, chat.restream.io something, something. It is in the uh, um, in the comment section. Then we actually can also see your face. Oh my gosh, and awesome. Um, Kelly is catching up because week number Woo! three in the content marketing power up is all about repurposing and heck yeah, mm -hmm. let's bring you back again in week three. Oh. We are in week one. So that's somewhere April. I'm looking at my calendar, April 19th, 20th, some, yeah. somewhere that week right around. So if you I can do got time in your calendar, we'll bring you back for week three. Heck yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my God, Kelly, I love you so much. You're so amazing. And yeah, because we're going to be using Descript um, for our podcast. So yeah, so which is fantastic. Um, blog is posts, all of that. Yeah, and there's so much you can think about because even when um, you've got like five guests in a row, you can have like themes. You can do monthly themes with your mm -hmm. content and you can grab specific answers or ask them one similar question or the same question. And then you can turn that into a roundup blog post of some sort. You know, there's just so many things you can do. Um, but I would say with that said, um, oh, oh my God. Well, Kelly, oh my gosh, yes, well, yeah, we're, we have our, we have a ton of things in the works, Kelly. I would love to know if you can even add on to that, which I bet you can. But we've got so much going on. But yes, I want to hear even more, Kelly. I want to hear all, even we more. We all love a go up holds. I'm like the cues in there, evergreen. Did I mention you guys simply just going to have to join the Content Marketing Power App because week yes. three is going to blow you away on repurposing, reusing. And we are not just talking about posting from one to the other. No, we are literally talking repurposing and making different pieces of content out of one. And I think one of the biggest struggles is bandwidth and having the budget for it. Yes. I think that's one of the biggest, when you're a one man band, um, that's one of the biggest struggles. So yeah, and that that's one of the things where, you know, yes, you know exactly what you need to be doing, yeah. but you don't have the budget or the bandwidth to do so, which we totally understand. And that's when it comes to VAs and, you know, uh, contractors and whatever you can to do that kind of stuff as well. So yeah. We all love Jennifer. But, we all love Oh my gosh, Jennifer. I love you guys too. Uh, Kelly, I love you. Evie, I love you. I love all you guys so much. And I probably should go in a couple minutes because my little angel, we, she's been amazing. She's she been so been. good. She's, yeah. su she's such a, she's all the mom. She's such a cutie. I love her oh to my pieces. Gosh. I, well, it's, it's surprising because um, her dad's Iranian and his dark hair and dark skin, and she's got the lighter skin. She like, is she's all fair. you. I'm like between the hair, between the skin and everything. She got the recessive genes, and we don't know how that happened. <laughs> 
which is it's so wild. You just never know. Um, but Evie, this is so awesome. I'm so excited. Your your power up and everything like for oh it done fingers crossed with my my phone is already going off the hook and I had to turn it over. Don't worry, as long as you tagged everybody, we are all good. I just want to give a really nice shout out to Restream um, for making this happen. That's the goal behind those streams. So don't even worry about it. I'm sure you talked about something really cool on your story. I'll check it out. So don't worry, you'll, you'll end up in the pool for the chance to win. Oh my gosh, I love that. I'm going to let you go to your little one. Is there one last thing where you're like, okay, Evie, you should have asked that. I should have said that. Any any last words before I sent you off to your cutie pie? I think just go do it, guys. You live once. You live. That's one of the thing things that like really has resonated me and I've learned uh, unfortunately uh, a few times um during the pandemic, you know, with just if you want to do something, do it. You never know when something might happen or anything yeah. like that. So squeeze your loved ones extra tight always. Tell people that you love them and just go do it. Stop making excuses for yourself and just do that. Take care of yourself, love yourself first, but just step into it and do it because you're amazing, you're awesome. You are worthy of everything you want in your life and you can get it. And if you need help, you just send me an Instagram DM at Jennifer Weather and you know I will help you answer any questions with whatever you need. Obviously with Evie um, and Kelly, they can help you too as well. And if you're a weather geek um, and you get the weather channel, you can watch me on Weather Gone Viral and we just um, we just shot uh, Weird Earth. That's a new show that I'm doing now too. So you can catch me, um, you know, late nights after the the live stuff. I uh, love I you. love watching you and your excitement and your passion about weather. <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna send all of you off and you back to your cutie pie. I'll see you back at 2 p.m. for the how to restream session. We are getting nerdy, so you can see how I make all of this happen. Awesome. Thanks so much, Jen. It's always a pleasure having you. You are such a cheerleader to everybody. We love you. Oh my God, I love you, Evie. And I love everyone else. You're you're all amazing. You guys are doing great things. You're exactly where you're supposed to be in your life and just keep pushing along. So <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Bye. Bye.